Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video. I don't know what else to say. This video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how Ned Stark, Eddard Ned Stark, destroyed his family. Let's get into it after this ad. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking for that dream vacation home, that mansion, that estate that you could stay in with your family, your kids, everyone you love and know and care about? Well, do I got the place for you. Take a look right behind me here. We got Heron Hall, baby. Home to Westeros. You know, you're going to love this place. You know, some people like to say it's haunted, but I promise you there's no ghosts here. There's no curse, nothing. Who said curse? There's nothing going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, call now. Call now, send your text, you can bring everyone you love. Because today, exclusively today, if you call, we're going to take 75% off of your life. I mean the price of this beautiful castle right here. Who could say no to that offer? Anyway, let's get back to the video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know, I, I let me just preface with this. I love Ned Stark great character he he got me into this show you know he was the main man in season one and you can go back in my reactions i love ned starks up until one point and i think you all know what point i'm talking about here that when the point where this man's honor got in the way of everything else but then i'm getting ahead of myself i'm getting ahead of myself now a lot of people are going to say how did ned stark cause the destruction of his family that doesn't even make sense but it does now, let's take it all the way back to when Catelyn Stark, Ned's wife, kidnapped Tyrion Lannister. Okay? Now, a lot of people might say that's what caused the downfall of the Stark family. Also, guys, I've only watched up to season four, so please don't spoil anything past that. Please. I love you guys. Please don't spoil nothing. Anyway, uh, so... A lot of people will say that's what caused the downfall of this family because then Jamie and Ned fought in the street. He got injured. Yada, 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 yada. But... I think that could have still happened and the Starks could have been fine. I think all of that would have been fine if Ned Stark hadn't put his honor above everything else. When Robert Baratheon died, Joffrey Baratheon was supposed to ascend the throne. But Robert Baratheon was like, well, how about you be the regent until my son comes of age? But <laughs> there's always a but, guys. There's always buts in Game of Thrones. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But Ned Stark found out the horrible truth that Joffrey Baratheon wasn't even Robert's son. He was actually the son of Jaime Lannister, the incest baby himself. It's ridiculous. I, I couldn't believe it when it happened. You can see my reaction on this channel. But anyway, that was a turning point for Ned's character for me because he could have done the right thing. And honestly, the right thing would have been to just tell robert on his deathbed in front of everyone now eh, that is a fishy situation who knows what'll happen then it might just be called treason right there on the spot now, i'm aware of that but would you guys rather risk that or would you rather risk letting him pass away and then once he's passed away you're like oh yeah by the way he's not actually robert's son so he can't be king which one looks worse in that situation come on like, like use your head Ned, use your brain. But anyway, I'm getting... Okay, let's not rag on Ned too much and too much. This isn't even the main point. The main point is, Renly or Stannis? Who is going to be on the throne? Now, I personally would much rather have had Renly on the throne than Stannis. Not going to lie. I don't mind Stannis. He's a little cuckoo, though, with his red god. But it was either Renly or Stannis because it wasn't going to be Joffrey. So then Ned and Lord Baelish start conspiring together to try and get Joffrey off the throne because they're going to need support of the guard in order to do that. And Lord Baelish is talking about the guard is going to follow whoever pays them. And Ned, you know, he isn't about all this. He's hearing everything Baelish is saying. He goes, oh, this is slimy. This is schemy. This is King's Landing stuff. And Ned Stark doesn't want anything to do with that. He goes, Stannis must be king because he's the eldest brother. Even though he's a cuckoo, God-loving, fire-burning, sacrificing man of a man. Jesus, Stannis is a man. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. So no one wants Stannis, essentially. And Lord Baelish makes it clear he does not want Stannis. Renly is the much better choice here. But Ned just can't bring himself to do it because his honor, his, his pride, I don't know. It's just he can't let himself forsake Stannis because Stannis is the eldest. Now, 
I get where he's coming from. I do. I don't want to act like Ned is being stupid here. But at the same time, guys, at the same time, Ned, you're stupid. And that single decision to try and put Stannis on the throne backfired and completely, I think it completely started the whole show because Lord Baelish lied to Ned and said he was on his side during the whole thing. But then he had the gold cloaks turn on Ned in the throne room when he was trying to get Joffrey to step down as the king. Cersei uh, tore up the piece of paper, iconic. You know, uh, people love Cersei. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, this was an awful decision because he knew Lord Baelish wasn't going to do this. Lord Baelish said he was not a fan of this and he didn't want to do this. Then we get to the execution of Ned Stark. Now this is because this all happened because Ned wanted Stannis on the throne and not Renly. By the way, if he would have chose, you know, whatever, I'll let go of my honor and ego, pride, whatever, for just a little bit because I can recognize Renly would be a better king. He would still be alive today. Rob and Catelyn never would have rode for war. Are you getting where I'm going with this? <sighs> Ned being so honorable caused the complete destruction of his family complete destruction because when Ned Stark got executed Arya has nowhere to go she gets sent up with this group to the wall you know that breaks all apart she gets lost she's now with the hound I don't I like I said I'm only into season four so she's with the hound right now wandering and she's basically getting sold off to whoever the hound can find that's her family because Rob is dead Catelyn's dead you wonder why because they went to war to avenge Ned that never would have needed to happen if Ned just said Renly can be king. Rob went to war. He, he was actually doing great. He didn't lose a single battle. But then again, it only takes one wedding. I've learned this now. I've learned this now. Weddings are not a safe place to be in Westeros. If I get a wedding invitation at Westeros, I'm leaving. I'm not going. <laughs> it's, it's as simple as that. At the end of the day, Arya cast to the wind somewhere in the Riverlands right now with the Hound. Who knows what's going on there? Sansa, stuck in King's Landing, being mentally, psychologically, physically tortured and abused by Joffrey Baratheon, the man who killed Ned. Rob and Catelyn, like I said, dead. Completely destroyed. Bran, left alone with Rickon. And they had to flee the castle because no one was there to defend them. Bran is now up north. Rickon's at the Umbers in the last hearth. Guys, Ned completely botched everything about this situation and his family is destroyed because of him i've been wanting to make this video for a while guys i uh i appreciate you clicking this if you did uh i hope you guys enjoyed this i didn't if you guys want to see more content like this let me know i didn't really script this because i don't know how well it's going to do at all i just really want to talk about this show more outside of reactions because it's so interesting to me like all these characters have such deep lore and like just implications like this this whole implication of this video is that ned caused the destruction of his family like, I love this show because it has so much deep things like this. And I would love to do this more. Leave a like, comment down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. Just so I can, like, get feedback and know. All right? Peace out, guys.